How's it hanging dudes? My name is Sean. Welcome back to my channel and let's go ahead and hop right over to Twitter because oh man, this guy, Jason Johnson, <laughs> almost every single one of his tweets are getting ratioed. <laughs> this dude is just got, he may just, I'm sorry, my chair is a little creaky, you know, it's like I got a rusty chair, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, this guy, <laughs> The correction is real. Oh, man, if you've ever seen somebody get corrected. So this guy goes to Twitter to say, Before anyone starts splitting hairs about debate diversity, if Yang and Gabbard make the debate symbolically, pol policy-wise, and rhetorically, they do not represent the minority base of the Democratic Party in the same manner as Castro, Booker, and formerly Harris did. First off, Harris locked up people for low-level drug offenses and then laughed about it. For cheap state labor. <laughs> you, sir, are such a political tool. Anyways, I didn't have to do much because the Yang gang, they came in hard. Policy-wise, Andrew Yang supports reparations for, for ADOS, ADOS, uh, universal basic income for caregivers and victims of domestic violence, de decriminalizing opioids, ending cash bail, abolishing private prisons, DACA, autism awareness and intervention, green cards and international students. Oh my god. I hope you were trying to say something thoughtful and it just came out really, really bad because I'd hate to think you're really that dismissive of, of people of color who aren't your particular shade of brown. <laughs> oh, and yes, of course, he's a MSNBC political editor. Hmm, funny, 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 funny. Also, when Yang raised 750K in one day, uh, MSNBC was the only one to not cover it. Hmm, hmm, funny. Um... Uh, and then people wonder why Asian Americans stay out of politics. It's, it's complete racism. This guy is just, he's racist. This is what he is. So I need to watch saying that because YouTube will demonetize his video. Um, like the last one about the uh, the Hitman Yang assassination, uh, that was demonetized. Uh, so either they don't want Yang being, they don't want people to know about Yang and, you know, to be safe. and Or the, I don't, I guess maybe it's not safe for advertisers. I don't know. Anyways, let's go back to this. Yes, this dude, so. Oh, this is just excellent. This is this is extremely ignorant statement and shows your own racial prejudice against Asians. This won't age well. <laughs> Anyways, uh, and, and this dude for for two days now. This is back December third, so it's December fifth now. Uh, for two days now, this guy has been on Twitter just having to defend himself constantly and defend his statements and correct himself and all this other stuff. It's hilarious. Oh, I love the Yang Yang. You guys are awesome. Okay, so uh, Zach and Matt uh, took to uh, Twitter to say MSNBC contributor uh, Dr. Jason Johnson falsely and despicably suggests that Andrew Yang accepts support from alt-white white, white nationalists and then claims Yang thinks Asian uh, anti-Asian racism is worse than anti-African American racism. Both of these claims are ridiculously false. They go on to show uh, him where he outright says, you know, he doesn't, you know, white nationalism. Not a fan. Despises it. Doesn't want nothing to do with it. He's, uh, you know, just about it many times. Uh, and then he goes on to say, Jason Johnson is straight up lying about Yang thinking ain't uh, anti-Asian racism is somehow more insidious than African American oppression because he goes on uh, at the National Action Network to go on to say how there's a huge difference in African American prejudice and Asian American prejudice. While they both exist, one is definitely way worse than the other, and it wasn't the Asian one. And they just keep on and keep on and keep on and keep on. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. This guy. <laughs> oh, man. Don't forget the policy. This is what made me all, all in for injuring. Anyways. Uh, <clears throat> this is unfortunately a track record for Jason Johnson. He's been smearing Bernie with false claims like this for many months now. Uh, I think he's just establishment pundit that wants to attack any anti-establishment candidate who will stoop uh, to low lows to do it. <laughs> he says, I never said that Yang accepts support from alt-right. You're a liar. I've said that he is at large alt-right support base for Democrats. That's a problem. Uh, yeah, you actually did, bro. Um, and Zach and Matt, they, they go on to quote tweet him um, a couple different different ways. Oh, man. It's it's. It just goes to show, you know, the to the extent of which um, mainstream media will go to um, to attack Andrew Yang. You know what I mean? Um, I know, I know. There's that whipped cream gate thing going on right there, but that's just it's just funny. You know what I mean? And 
And people like Trump won't attack Yang for that because if he does, then I'm sure uh, Trump's voters are not very you know politically correct. So, and look, they're even they're even coming in for Tulsi too. Like they said, as a as a president, I'll end the failed war on drugs, legalize marijuana, and cash bail, ban private prisons, bring out uh, real criminal justice reform, crack down on overreaching intel agencies and big tech monopolies who threaten our civil liberties and free speech. So this guy is it's just so obvious how. How one-sided he is. He's definitely just trying to protect him as NBC. They're trying to smear Andrew Yang, make him look as bad as possible. There was a new poll that that was supposed to come out in October, but didn't come out. And he's at 11%. Um, that's huge. That's huge. And there is a couple states that still need to get um, some signatures signed. Virginia and uh, there's, there's some get out there, guys. Wherever you are, you know what I mean. Uh, do what you gotta do. You know what I'm saying. It's only not that hard. Um, so yeah, I don't know. That's pretty much all I got for you guys today. I just feel like this correction was a pretty excellent. And this guy, he is a uh, he's been having to defend himself uh, for for days now. See, there he's he's still going. <laughs> he's still going. So I never said I, I. Oh my god, he just when you have to defend yourself this much, you know that you screwed up. You know what I mean? This is. It's so sad. And he's like, he was calling people bots and stuff like that. And all these bots were real people. We're real people. And we're here to correct you, son. That's all it is, man. Anyways, guys, make sure you go back and check this video out. I'm sorry, it's demonetized. You probably didn't get the notification. It is what it is, but uh, that's all I got for you right now. I might have another video later on. Uh, it is what it is, man, but that correction was sweet with it. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section below. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good algorithmic cool stuff. And I'll uh, see you guys in the next one.